The moment you take them off script, they are clueless about how to have a conversation. We're talking about what the Quran says about crucifixion, and he can't answer it. It's not in the script, so he wants to jump to a script that isn't even the topic. stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I do choose. Now, please note, please note the arrogance and ignorance of the Muslim who, when I challenge him to a debate, will run like a chicken. So let's talk about the errors in the Quran. Come here. I'll show you one. Oh, no, no. You don't get interrupt me and then say, don't put me on camera. So let's talk. Let's debate. Let's wanna, debate. No, let's Bible. debate the errors in no, the Quran. No, the Bible, the Bible. let's talk about the Jesus errors in the Quran. The Bible, that I did not come Does to this Quran the have errors Listen, in it? Jesus says in the Bible. Does this Quran not come to bring have Jesus. errors in it? No, not right. one. Not one. When was crucifixion invented? When was crucifixion invented? That was a, a made-up thing invented. When was made-up thing? Made up, made up thing, was it? <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, now you're demonstrating how ignorant you are. No, because crucifixion. We believe, we believe you Jesus don't think crucifixion was a heavens. real thing. You don't no, think crucifixion was a real thing. So there was no such thing as crucifixion. One second, one second. This you're, demonstrates you're how ignorant you are. You're pull out my book. This you're is how book. ignorant you are. You have crucifixion crucifixion is in your Quran. Are you aware of that? Are you aware of that? Crucifixion is in your Quran. Show me. Right, okay, let's show you. Let's show you. Let's show you crucifixion is in his Quran. Okay, so the brother doesn't know his own book. He's attacking my book, but he doesn't know his own book. So, let me just show you. I'm a Christian. This guy is a Muslim. I was doing a presentation about the Christian faith. He just rudely interrupted. Now I'm going to bust his ass and show him that he doesn't understand his own book. So, let's just do it. I wasn't talking, I was talking about Christianity over there. You interrupted. Surah 12, 41. Let's show him. He just said, crucifixion isn't in his Quran. Now I'm going to show you how ignorant you are. Where is it, Surah what? Surah 12, Ayah 41. Are you listening? Surah 12, Ayah 41. Pull it up. Surah 12, Ayah 41. Right. So what's the debate about? We're going to show him a historical error in the Quran. Bring it in, bro. Bring it in, bro. 41. Bring in. 41. Listen. 41. Yes. All right, well, let me read it. Oh, my. Yes, right. Listen. Surah 12, 41. Oh, my two companions of the prison, as to one of you, he will pour out the wine of his Lord to drink. As for the other, he will hang from the cross. What is it called when you hang someone from the cross? Crucifixion. But what about he say there's different translations? Pull up, let's pull up. Of the English let, text. Well, let, let's, so what, the let's pull them up. Same. Let's pull them up. The words of the English what is it to hang someone from a cross? Where does it say cross? A Show me cross. There, right there, look, hang from, no, read, it. No, 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 read it, you no, 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 no. read it, read it, read it, read it, get someone who knows the Arabic language so he can tell me what that means, it says, you means crucifixion, I don't go by, I don't go by my let me, let me show you scholars, let me show you scholars, because you bro are busted, and this is how ignorant this, you are, this is, this is what a different, this is, this is how ignorant you are, language. You're Please, ignorant Allah of your Quran. In English translation can be Allah the most merciful or Allah the most beneficent. So it's the same meaning but just a different wording. So this guy, huh? You don't know Arabic. No, no, I don't. Right, so he's, he doesn't know Arabic and he's demanding that we use the Arabic. So let yeah, me show him. To, um, I'm going to show you you're still wrong, bro. That's, that's what I mean. Let I'm me sorry, show you you're still wrong. wrong. Have some humility. Have, have some humility. humility. You have a right. dirty speech. Let's let's you let's have a look. Let's look. With a tongue like yours. I come. So someone I came. Someone converted to Christianity. I did just this week. Just this week. One person. Just this week. Just this week. Just this week. This is this is this is where this is where Islam misleads you. I could just pull you out a natural fact. Guess what, man? Yeah, natural facts like this one. Let like this one. Let's look at this one. Sahi International reads. O oh, two companions of prison, as for one of you, he will give drink to his master of wine, but as for the other, he will be crucified. So I've now Show given you mercy. two Muslim What's scholars who both say crucified, and one Muslim scholar who says hang from a cross. Are you willing to concede you were wrong? No, no, no. So this no. is this is the ignorance and the arrogance. 
Islam and he will never extinguish the uh, is, is Dr. Mustafa Qatab an enemy of Islam? No. He I says crucified. Know, Dr. Mustafa Qatab, he says crucified. Is Sahih International an enemy of Islam? No. No, but they say crucified. You are an enemy of Islam. So do you disagree with them? No. So they say crucified. So then were you then wrong? Then I have to go back you to said Islam. the Quran didn't have crucifixion in it. I've what just about, shown you. What about in your book? Now, Jesus said, now one second. Now one second. Now one you second. Now Matthew, one second. Matthew, Who was 10, speaking at this time? One second, Who was speaking at this mate. time? Who was speaking don't at this time? Don't be rude. Who was don't speaking? Rude. Are you afraid? Jacob. Afraid? I'm gonna read Jacob was reading. Are you of your book? Jacob was reading. Of your book? I just said to you Jacob that I don't have... was reading. I just said to you that it may be having it may have It says it. Meanings. Look, it says it. Look, Scholars it says it. In 1238, look. It says, "I follow the faith of my fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob." It is not right for us to associate anything with Allah in worship. This is part of Allah's grace upon us. And, O oh my fellow prisoners, which is for better many different lords of Allah. The... He's a non-Christian hater. Okay. He's not Christian himself. So, whatever idols you worship instead of him are mere means. Are you listening? Okay. The one that is speaking, the one that is speaking, is talking in the time of the pharaohs. It's talking in the time of Egypt, okay? Crucifixion wasn't invented at that time. We know who invented it, the Assyrians. And then the Babylonians, sorry, the Babylonians invented it, the Assyrians improved it, the Persians popularized it, and the Romans perfected it. That's the quick history of crucifixion. Where was Jesus from? That's not what's that got to do with this. I mean, what, 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 go on. What, what's this got to do with this? Your Quran, your Quran. You go on. Yeah. Because Jesus, where was he from? He was from Palestine. From Palestine. Yes. What was he? He was a Jew. Jew. Yes. What's so that got to do with crucifixion in your Quran? I'll show you. Oh, in your, go on. In your Quran. I, this passage. What, what's that got to do with crucifixion? Allah knows best. Allah, in other words, you don't know. You've been taken off your script, and like every other Dawah Dawa guy gang here, you're completely clueless. You're completely clueless. When, when was crucifixion invented? It was invented in the time of Jesus, peace be upon him. No! You're ignorant, bro! Right, let me tell you, let me tell you. Go on. Go on, tell us, tell us. Tell us. Bro, in the time of Jesus, Isa bin Maryam, yeah? Yeah. Isa bin Maryam, yeah? In his time, the people, yeah, they crucified someone. But that wasn't Jesus. Jesus, we believe, was ascended to the heavens. God has got him there alive right now, and he's going to return. So I believe crucifixion came from that time. Okay. When they crucified the fake Jesus. Right, now let me show you why you're wrong. Okay. This is quoting, this is quoting from the National U.S. Library uh, of Medicine. Okay. From a paper. The paper is... The history and pathology of crucifixion. Listen to what it says. In antiquity, crucifixion was considered one of the most brutal and shameful modes of death. Probably originating with the Assyrians and Babylonians, it was used systematically by the Persians in the 6th century. Alexander the Great brought it from there to the Eastern Mediterranean, countries in the 4th century before Christ and the Phoenicians introduced it into Rome in the 3rd century. It was virtually never used in pre-Hellenic Greece. The Romans perfected crucifixion for 500 years until it was abolished by Constantine I in the 4th century. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, crucifixion came after the Quran said that it did. The Quran says that crucifixion came in the time of the Egyptians, the pharaohs. That is a historical error. We know where crucifixion came from oh, and it wasn't that's Egypt. A error. The Quran is never ever a historical error. That's what you're reading is a historical error. Based on what evidence? Based on the evidence that they're human and they're not, they're not God. Based on the what? Quran is the word that's of just Allah, your assertion. The Lord of Jesus. You're begging the question. The Lord of Jesus is that is your assertion. Allah, who is the Lord that Jesus. is your assertion. Who is Joseph? And what happened to Joseph? You see, he doesn't even know. I know what happened to him. So tell me, tell me, tell us, tell us. You tell me what you believe. Tell us, because he doesn't know.
He doesn't know his own book. I believe he was chucked a little. I believe, I believe the whole story. So, so what happened to when, Joseph? When the, when the rich, rich, powerful woman was trying to seduce Where? him. Where? In the, in, the, in, the, in the castle. Of? I know everything. Of? Don't worry. Of. Which country? Don't worry. Which country? Explain to me your version. Okay, let me explain it to him because he's a bit sketchy on the details. No, 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 you're, you're, you're so Joseph, your religion, Joseph was thrown in prison. You dilute your book. And he was in prison in Egypt. Joseph is 1400 years BC. Okay. The Assyrians and the Babylonians are 800 years BC. Note the difference, some right. 600 years difference. Okay, fair enough. Uh, it was the Babylonians and the Assyrians that invented crucifixion. But the Quran says the following, putting words into the mouth of Joseph. When he was in prison with two of the companions of prison, this is what Joseph said. As to one of you, he will pour out the wine for his Lord to drink. And as for the other, he will be crucified. <laughs> Crucifixion didn't in, no, even exist How do you know that? in 1400 How do you years know BC. That? How do you know that? Great question. I will tell you. Tell me. Because How of his... You know? I'm there? going to tell you. Would you, would you tell I'm going to tell you. Because you don't, know. you don't know. Like you didn't know that the Quran even had the word crucifixion in it. Like you didn't know the story of Joseph. Like you didn't know that the translators agreed with me that the Quran used crucifixion. You didn't know because you're full of pride and your own arrogance and your own conceit and you have no humility. So how do we know that the Assyrians and the Babylonians were the ones that came up with crucifixion? Because their documents, right, their material evidence talk about it. And there is no material evidence or talks about it before is Christianity this, a this document. Is don't change the topic. Is Christianity a Why is there an error in your Quran? Why is there error in your Bible? Why you, don't Why change the topic. Why are you getting no, away no. from this? Why are you getting away from Run away. Why are you running you, away you from it? The Quran. Listen to one of your own verses. Okay. No, listen to no one of your own deal text. with this. Uh, Matthew 10, deal with this. Yeah? Deal, deal with, with this. That. Deal with that. Religion, Deal with this. Because our religion is a peace religion. Your religion you're just, is a war religion. You're just trying to get off Listen, the topic. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Go on. Let me tell get, you. Try and get off Matthew, the topic. Get up. No try and get off the topic. We were talking right? about crucifixion no, no, no. and he it's wants to right. run away it's from the topic. Right? That's what we're talking about. You know, Go on. Talk from Quran. Go on. Talk from, uh, yeah, Bible. about crucifixion. Let's talk about what the Bible says about crucifixion. I'm going to talk to you about peace. No, let's talk about crucifixion. Islam is a war like religion. Yeah, cool. All right. That's not what I've said here. Matthew 10 34. Jesus, yeah? All right. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. No, I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. So what do you say about your book? Okay. That promotes violence. So let me let me let me deal with this. With sword. Let me deal with this. Jesus it. came with what you mean. Let me deal with this. How are you gonna deal yeah. with that? So, ladies and gentlemen, please note that his only response is to go back to his script. Because that's what the Dai do here in the corner. They have this pathetic stupid little script that they use against Christians and the moment you take them so off the script, script the moment you take them off script they are clueless about script. how to have a conversation we're script. talking about what the Quran says about crucifixion and he can't answer it it's not in the script so he wants to jump to a script that isn't even the topic here's what the Quran says in Surah 20 Ayah 71. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Where's Pharaoh? Egypt. When is Pharaoh? 1400 BC. 1200 BC. That's long before the Assyrians. That's long before the Babylonians. Long before the Persians. Long before the Romans. Those are the ones that gave us crucifixion. But here's what Pharaoh says. Believe ye in him before I give you permission. Surely this must be your leader who has taught you magic. Be sure I will cut off your hands and feet on opposite sides and I will have you crucified on trunks of palm leaves. Crucified. Crucifixion did not exist at this time in history. Great question, now let me answer. How do historians know anything about history? That's the question he's asking. They look for material evidence. So for instance, how do we know when the mobile phone was invented? Historically, what do we do? We look for the first mentions of the mobile phone. 
We look for the first usage of the mobile phone. And then we narrow down, because of the material evidence, the approximate time when mobile phones were invented. That's how you do history. And it's pretty good. I challenge you to do your experiment. Go away and research when the mobile phone was invented and try to find someone talking about the mobile phone before it was invented. Okay. You don't. Okay. Now, that means me when historians look into who invented crucifixion, they look for who material the Bible? evidence. Who wrote the Bible? They look for when who people talk about crucifixion, who wrote the Bible? depict crucifixion, a liar. institute yeah. crucifixion. And just like I promised, a, he wants to run away. No running away. The Quran is a 7th century document that is projecting crucifixion into a time that is ahistorical. It is an error in the Quran. Perfect. So let me deal with that. Let me deal with that. Yes, because that only supports my argument. So, brother, and you sound like an intelligent man, so I'd like to continue this conversation with you if you'd like. Would you like to come forward? Okay, so let me just deal with it. He, 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 he wants to double down on that word probably. Well, that's fair, because if you do your research about when mobile phones were invented, you will come up with a probable date. That probable date could go plus or minus a whole decade, because it may have been invented before it became known. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about the Pharaoh of Egypt using crucifixion as a punishment and there is no historical evidence that the Egyptians used crucifixion as a punishment. The first evidence that we get of anything that looks like crucifixion is from the Babylonians and the Assyrians and then it was popularized by the Persians and then brought to Egypt. Did you all hear that? Brought to, Egypt. Brought to Egypt by Alexander the Great. It wasn't even known in Egypt until Alexander the Great in the fourth century BC. Which means when the Quran talks about crucifixion at the time of the Pharaohs, you can be cast iron sure that this book is making it up and that this book is in error. Ah. How would you reply? I'm really respect because please don't take it that as a disrespect and... Uh, no, I have... to pick up your voice. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, first of all, I'm really thankful that you... I mean, don't take that as a disrespect. It's just my question that I will ask you. Yeah, thank you for that. Sorry for that. If, uh, and excuse my language. If there's something like you don't understand, you can ask me again. Uh, if I look into the historical one, you know that the Noah built the ark. But if we see in the Google, we search it about this ark. We don't go back somewhere Noah. You and we, we believe that the Noah was the one who built the ark. But our system, our history doesn't lead us towards the Noah. So, okay. so, so firstly, thank you so much for engaging and being polite. So, ladies and gentlemen, because I've not got someone interrupting me now, I'm going to just speak at a normal volume. So if you can't hear me, you have to move in. Okay, it's just going to change. Well, bear with us one second. Okay.